Okay, this is problem 10.1.49, and we're asked to find the following and assume that x can represent any real number. And what they're telling us with this, this direction right here, assuming that x can represent any real number, is that we do need to worry about the absolute value signs here because we don't know whether x is e, uh, positive or negative, and we're dealing with an even index radical here. <clears throat> and so we have to ensure that x is positive because we can't have negatives under the radical in, with an even index and still be defined in the real number system. Okay, so in order to simplify this, we would first of all need to factor this. And so I'm just going to use trial and error. And you can use whatever method you were taught. If you were, <clears throat> if you were taught the AC method, you can use that. But using trial and error, I'm going to split up the x squared into x and x. The 49 is split up into 7 and 7, and that would give an outside and an inside of two 7x's. If I make those both negative, it'll give me that negative 14x in the middle, and then the last portion of FOIL there gives that positive 49. So this is essentially the square root of x minus 7 quantity squared. And now when I have the index, which is an assumed 2 when there's nothing written there, and the exponent matching, then out comes just our x minus 7. And we need to remember to have absolute value signs around it <clears throat> because of the fact that it's an even index and we have a variable there. Okay, so our answer here would just be this, the absolute value of x minus 7.